At Najiko, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like your boat when you're at sea and you get away from everything. Your home and the security of your daughter's things. And the car that you've had for too long. But after all these years, you just can't let go. At Najiko, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. The stingy defense of Winner's Circle Newtown United was breached as Rams Village superstars ran riot in the National Bank Premier League Sunday night. The Battle of Bastyr, East versus West, Newtown versus Village ended in a lopsided affair at the Warner Park. Village trumped Newtown 3-0, leapfrogging both Newtown and SL Horses and Pauls to the top of the table on 14 points. Travis Somersall put Village ahead in the 26th minute after Newtown goalkeeper Akil Barron spilled a shot at the mouth of the goal. With a dangerously close to the ground diving header, Somersall was able to roll the ball over the line. Village went into halftime with that lead, but Newtown came out the second half roaring as the intensity increased, with five yellow cards dished out between both teams in the second half, six in total for the match. But despite Newtown's best efforts, Village was too much for them. Village earned a penalty and Kimari Rogers coolly found the back of the net in the 71st minute. In the 85th minute, Joseph Wilkes sealed the deal with a breakaway goal to make it 3-0. Newtown coach Anthony Nets Isaacs at the end of the match was still trying to figure out what led to his team's collapse in defence, having only conceded two goals prior to that encounter. I feel it's more like a, like a tiredness. I don't, I, to me, I understand. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out myself because with the, the defense we have, in, the defense we have with Noel, we could we could maintain a lot of teams coming towards us. But there's little mistakes and we give away the ball too much, so it put a lot more pressure on, on the defense. Fairly decent record so far in the season, so far for the first round. Um, what will this now do for Newtown in terms of tweaking and changing going into the remainder of the first round and preparing for a carnival? Well, we should have two more games. I think we should have two more games as Kayan and St. Peter's. I think when we get back to the training ground, because I will explain to the players on the inside that, for us, this is not the end. We have two more games. We just need at least one more game and then most likely in the carnival cup. So we have to focus still going forward, back to the training ground and go from there again. It was a simple strategy for Village, according to coach Jeffrey Hazel. Well, we know Newtown is a team that, that's very, very strong defensively. Uh, they have been doing pretty well for the, for the season thus far. They were second in the table coming into tonight. We were third. And so we had to, to break the defensive block. So we had to practice some stuff. We were able to open them a little bit and look for some penetrative passes. Our guys, you know, are a little bit quicker than their guys who played in the back. So we tried to exploit that as much as possible. With Village now at the top of the table and with the first round almost done, Coach Hazel is pleased with his team's output so far this season so far we, we're satisfied we still have some some room, lots of room for improvement of course we want them to just be disciplined and, and to play as simple as they can uh, that, that's what we have been preaching for the last couple of, of weeks and so we want to, to continue doing that going forward uh, into the end of the first round and carnival cup in the first of Sunday's doubleheader, Elka Limited St. Peter's earned their first win of the season against Premier League debutants TGE DAB Eagles three goals to two Kishorn Ward of Deer Bay gave his team the lead in the 37th minute, only for Yusen Slater to equalize two minutes later for St. Peter's. That seemed to be the impetus needed for St. Peter's, as Dionis Stevens extended the lead just before halftime in the 42nd minute. Deer Bay, still shell-shocked from what happened in the first half, scored an own goal at the start of the second half in the 47th minute and could only muster up a second goal in the 82nd minute. Too little too late for Deer Bay, but they remain in 8th position. St. Peter's, despite the win, are rooted at the bottom of the table with four points. The National Bank Premier League continues with the games this weekend. A doubleheader on Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Warner Park will see Rams Village Superstars play in St. Thomas Trinity United. Hobson Enterprises' Garden Hotspurs will play Saul Island Auto Connery. On Sunday, a triple header at 3 p.m., SL Horses and Pauls United will play TGE DBA Eagles. At 5 p.m., Elko Limited St. Peter's will play Fast Cash Saddlers United. And at 7 p.m., Flow 4GK and Rockets battle Winners Circle Newtown United.